Hey, this is Seen D Channel. I'm Chris. This loser's Dave, and this is another night for you. What? What? <laughs> what did say? Loser say what? Huh? What? What? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna be doing our predictions for UFC on FX One: Gallard versus Miller, which is gonna happen on January twentieth. Um, right now, uh, they have a good two, four, six, eight. They have ten fights announced. You can come. What a loser. <laughs> but, um, there's ten fights announced. Um, it's a month away, so they might, uh, announce some more, uh, fights for, for this card. It might not, actually. Um, it's, it, you know, I, I don't really know how they're going to work this. Um, and then, uh, the other thing is, I, I don't think they've really announced who, who's going to be on the main card and who's going to be on the undercard yet. Um, maybe some site has by now, but... You know, as far as I, I know, so far they they haven't. Mm -hmm. Have you got anything to say, my man? I say <laughs> that Jim Miller gonna kick your butt. Well, I I'm picking Jim Miller too, so. No, you don't. Okay. Well, anyway, so let's just get right to it. On the main event, we have the young assassin Melvin Gillard versus Jim Miller. Jim Miller all the way. Yeah, I got Jim Miller here too, man. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Jim Miller uh, has to be one of the most well-rounded fighters out there. Yes. Uh, probably just in, in MMA in general. Um. Good stand out. Good wrestling. Strong BJJ. I mean, what can you ask? He's also mentally tough too. Um. This is a guy that's taken, like his brother Dan Miller. He takes uh, a lot of fights on short notice and wins. <laughs> oh, he's good. Um. Yeah. Uh, uh, compared to the other guy, our oh, Melvin guy. Oh, Jin is mentally tough. What's the other guy? Not Tony so Alves? much, man. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's, a, it's a lot of the same story with Gallard, really. He gets rocked in a stand-up. He gets really frazzled or something because it's like he gets rocked in a stand-up against like Joe Stevenson or Joe Lozon. Mm -hmm. And then he gets submitted right away. It, you know, it, the guy gets really frazzled, you know... It, you know, he definitely has some, like, mental issues, it, it, it seems like, you know. I mean, in the cage, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's, I, I, I don't, I can't really, I don't know if that's the right word, but it, it's just, um, it, you know, he hasn't always shown his most potential, and, and his losses have always been, like, there, there was this fight, he fought, like, Nate Diaz one time, mm -hmm. And he seriously, he was doing all right. I think he got, like, hit or something. He goes for a takedown and pretty much gives his neck to Diaz to get, like, bravo choked. Oh. You know? I mean, I, it, it's the same story. He did the same thing against, like, Joe, um, Joe, Joe Daddy Stevenson as well. Um, I don't think this guy likes to get hit. <laughs> he got uh, hit once and it's over. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know what it is. He... he you know, his style was working again, and and he's beat some good guys like uh, Evan Dunham and whatnot, um, as of late. You know, but you know that loss to Lozon, it, you know, I, I that was like a how did that happen type thing. Uh, he fights with his hands down, which works. His style is that he 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 he's really far from his opponent, has his hand hands down, explodes forward, throws a combination, and gets out. No, I mean, he definitely have an interesting style. I just don't understand somebody who has a such good and uh, such strong stand out. How can he, <laughs> he have such bad stand out defense, man? Oh, <coughs> overconfident, probably, in his stand up. Um, well, he tried to money. pull, and there's a silver. <laughs> you know, um, you know, Melvin, you know, he. he when you talk about Melvin, you talk about, like, potential. And the guy, it, a lot of people say, because he, he's a natural athlete, and, and his stand-up's good, his wrestling's good. I mean, he, he's a good fighter. He has a lot of potential. I mean... No, of course. I, I, I know that, but, you know, the mental issue is something that he can solve. It's not, not like, oh, my God, I just can't, you know, something I need to spend five years to train. It's a big mental issue, man. Mm -hmm. Get your head straight out, you know, focus. And what's up with all the loss, most of the loss are by submission. I mean, he's, he kind of he improved his uh, ground game. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's... A lot of times he gets, like, rocked on the feet and then gets submitted or something. Yeah. But the other the other thing with Gillard, like, if he wins, th- there's a Jamie Stevens fight where that wasn't very impressive. But if he wins, it's easy by a cool knockout. Mm-hmm. Jim Miller's, though, I mean, this guy's never been finished. <laughs> and, Dude, you gotta knock Jim Miller out. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I would love to see that happen, but I don't think so. Yeah, Jim Miller's only lost to three guys. Do you know who those three guys are? Oh, three undefeated top, well, top, top people. Not well, undefeated not. guys, but... but they, they pretty much is out there, man. Freaking Yeager. Yep. Number one. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Ben Henderson. Yeah. He, Nasty guy, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what's, uh, <laughs> what's another guy? Gray Maynard. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, those three are happy here, dude. Yeah. This guy, yeah, they're, they're the top of the pack, and he's only lost to the very top of the pack uh, guys. Um, Miller, like I said, very well-rounded guy. I mean, his stand-up's crisp. It's technical. It's good wrestling. And mentally tough. He's, he's a mentally tough guy. You know, he keeps pushing forward, you know. Um, you know, he, he's lost against guys. like He lost against guys that are like... Uh, better wrestlers than him a lot of times, like Maynard or Ben Anderson. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not like he can't get outstruck or anything. It, it's because he has good stand up. You know, it, it's he's above average everywhere. Yes, he's not great. Arguably so. Arguably so. But um, he's above average uh, everywhere. Oh um, yeah, that's he's evenly distributed to everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, I just say that, you know, I feel this fight going to go, Melvin will come fine, butts out really good, you know, good stand out, you know, <laughs> just like, oh, coming to get me and, you know, stay distant, you know, butts out, beautiful combination. He met her once, didn't get him, he met her twice, didn't get him, can't find me there, can't hear him, finally hear him, does it go down, get frustrated, you know, and then good night, man. Yeah, that's how you see it, huh? The yeah. the mill's just gonna finish him up. Who? Cool. Okay, nice fight. Uh, we got is uh Dwayne Bang Ludwig versus Josh the dentist near. Uh, I think the dentist gonna put some teeth uh, on this one. <laughs> so he's got the dentist, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like you know Ludwig's good, but he's mainly like a stand up guy. He showed some uh new wrestling ability against uh Mr. Dahl in his last fight. For the most part, we're going to see just pretty much a kickboxing fight in this one. Yeah, that's fun. And, you know, the uh, Josh has a weak takedown defense, but I don't think, you know, we're going to go to a grind at this one. So yeah. it doesn't even matter. Mm-hmm. And near stand-ups are uh, uh, really good. Uh, he has good stand up Yeah, and he's just a really tough guy. He has a really good chin, too. Uh, you know, he's a tough guy to push forward. And, and even on the ground, he has some really good triangles and, and um, whatnot, and scrambles, even. Um, he showed it against, like, Nate Diaz, for example. Um, you know, he, he definitely has an underrated grappling ability as well. Well, you know, but I don't think it's going go to go there anyway. I think it's going to go, you know, staying out fine. The judge going to bust out really good, you know, staying out, and, and that's pretty much it. Cool. Next fight after that, we have <coughs> HD Pat Berry versus Christian Moorcraft. Pat Berry, man. Yeah, I go with Pat Berry. I mean, he kind of has some mental issues too. <laughs> uh huh. But that guy's the shortest bully you can see, man. Short he's, not strong, like, he's not really man. much of a bully, though, you know. No, but he's, uh, he's just. I want to just mean he's like. He's short and buff, man. This guy's yeah. buff, man. You don't want to mess with him. You know what, man? This guy has some really good leg kicks. Stand up's really good. He has one punch KO power. Um, he's Wick. actually. BJJ, though. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, yeah, but it's, it's not that strong. He's working on it. I know he's working on it, but, you know, he, he just got recently submitted by Seven Stroop. Uh, he's got submitted by guys like Tim Haig, which is terrible. Um, terrible. Warcraft, the, you know, the thing with Warcraft is he, he's like a very lower tier heavyweight you know it's like decent stand up it's wrestling's decent it's some good bjj but you know it, it's that's nothing it. there's nothing outstanding 
I can hardly say he's that good in these departments either. Yeah. It's just, it's just, he's de- He's a very decent fighter. You know, I, that's, that's the best way I can really, uh, best thing I can really say about Warcraft to be for fun. Uh, I don't think he's in, you know, past league at all. I think Patch is going to ignite him. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Nice right after that. We got Jorge El Conquisto Rivera versus Ed. Uh, Eric Red Schaefer. You have to mispronounce my my guy. What's wrong with you, man? Eric, dude. Crazy, good, strong BJJ. Decent stay out, decent rest day, but BJJ, man. Fascinating. You know, man, I, I like... Both of you guys are veterans, <coughs> but I'll go with Jorge Rivera. I, like, I got a soft spot for the guy. Uh, his stand-up is good. He does have some good power in his stand-up. Growing game, yeah, not the strongest, but he he is he is a veteran. It's not like he doesn't know what to do when he's down there. I don't know. It's just another very typical style for the grappling. And I just think, like <coughs> Eric, you know, again, he's not like he cannot fight stand out. He has a decent stand up, also a decent wrestling. But I think he will utilize his BJJ and then try to. Take you down, take Jose down. I mean, again, oh, right. yeah. Jorge. I mean, again, Jorge have a good wrestling, but you know the st- the pitches is not that great. You know, Guanke is mm-hmm. not as not as strong as uh, area. I think Eric would utilize you know his uh, BJJ and get you hook there. Hopefully, choke you out. Hopefully. Cool. I'll see, man. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Choke you out. Oh. Next right after that, we have Mike Thomas Brown versus uh, Wagner Roca. Do we even need to talk about this? You know, Mike Brown just gonna take this home. Yeah, uh, Mike Brown. I believe he's coming off a one over Nam Fan. Um, he, he was uh, going through. Issue brother got no love, man. Uh, he was going through. You know, Mike Brown was going through a pretty bad skid, losing to guys like Ronnie Yaya, uh, and whatnot. But uh, I think he's come back up. Um, he's always been solid. Um, his stand-up's good. It, it's kind of stiff. Um, I've always thought his... He has a lot of power, but I always thought his stand-up's kind of stiff. Yeah. He's a good wrestler. Uh, former WEC champ. Fought Uriah Faber twice before losing it to Jose Aldo. Uh-huh. Um, and his position is he's really strong, too. I think really he's a brown belt. Um, Roca, though, all he really has is, like, presenting jiu-jitsu, and that's it. I mean, he doesn't really have... Stand-up's not that good. His so wrestling isn't even that good. His Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is like his only real strong point, really. I feel this is just gonna be so one sided, it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. My bro, man, just his power isn't able to knock out the trend, dude. I think his, his knockout power definitely gonna, you know, dominate his fight for sure. Cool. Yeah, I agree, man. Okay, next fight after that, we have. MFC veteran and champion and UFC newcomer Ryan Jimmo. I'm, I forget what his nickname is. Is it the robot? Because I know he always, he does a robot when he wins. He's going to uh, go up against Carlos Vimola. Ryan Jimmo will win this fight. I've actually seen a... I watch a lot of MFC. If you guys all watch a lot of uh, the shows here. Um, I do a lot of MFC predictions. Uh, I picked Jimmo to pretty much win all of them, yep. <laughs> uh, but I can't pick him here. Hmm? I here's the thing with Vamal. Why he, he lost his last fight against Ronnie Marks? Okay. By wrestling, I mean uh, Ronnie Marks managed to take him down a lot and control him on the ground. Okay. If you see the Carlos Vamala that pushes forward like he did against Seth Frizzelli. Ryan Jimmo, from what I see, even in like the Sokudu fight, mm-hmm. doesn't really take well to getting pressured too much. Mm-hmm. And I, I think that Carlos Vomola, the type of guy, fighter he is, he, he definitely pushes forward a lot, will force takedowns. Mm-hmm. He'll throw some pretty wild striking, um, which Jimmo could actually counter. His counter punching isn't that bad. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it Jimmo is he his stand is not that bad, dude. Yeah, he does he does have that karate base actually. Yeah. Um, but I think the problem with Jimmo is he he sits back a lot. Uh, you know, and I think against a guy like Vamola, who's gonna keep going at him. I think Vamola might be able to do something. 
uh, by pushing forward. I, don't know. I, I see your point, dude, but I just gonna say, you know, you know, watch this, okay? Ryan, he has uh, this unique technique which make fight really ugly and boring. But anyway, he clinch a lot. Yeah, he does. Okay, your guy has one problem, man. Mm -hmm. He has that mental illness too. <laughs> Uh, well, I all I say is, he doesn't really. You know, you know, all I say is he gonna get tired. Uh mm huh. -hmm. He gonna he gonna get mental frustrated mm -hmm. because of this clinch, mm -hmm. and then he gonna, and then Ryan gonna tire tire you out, and you know, then pretty much take it for that. We'll see, man. We'll see. No. I got Vamola winning this one. Jimbo is actually on a really good win streak. Jimbo is well. good. He look, look, look. He has a good clinch. He has a good stamp out. He has a good counter strike. He has a decent wrestling. I just say, you know, he has what he needs to win this fight. And what he's smart with, he's always clinch you. He gonna take, take you out. Take you, you know, get you tired and then get you mentally frustrated, and that's pretty much it. You know. Yeah. Oh, we'll see, man. We'll see. Well, next right after that we have Khabib, uh, Nurma Nurma Gomed Gomedov. Uh, what? Yeah, Nurma Gomedov. I got it. There versus Kamal Shalrus. Nim. You didn't say Khabib. <coughs> Khabib. Yeah. I think some people have it as Habib also. Really? Um. Yeah. I think Khabib gonna win, man. Sixteen and old, undefeated record. Very, very. Uh, it, it said though, uh, 6 KO, 6 uh, submission, 23 years old, man. Mm. Never passed second round because he finished a guy in the first round. Uh, why is it that he keeps finishing th these guys? Uh, so, you know, before the Maybe, maybe. The rumor is uh, his competition is very weak, but you know. Mm. Yeah. We'll see, man. It, it, you know, it is his first fight in the UFC. Kamal Shalarus, I love the guy. He's the Prince of Persia. I will say this. He has very low fight IQ. This guy is like Iranian. I'm glad you said it. Yeah, he's like an Iranian Olympic medalist what, or something. What's wrong with your guy, man? He has such great, strong, strong weapons. It's like you have an AK-47 and you take like a knife fighting in the battle. Mm. That doesn't make any sense, dude. Maybe maybe you like CQC, man, instead of like far range. All I say is he could have finished your fight with a resume and get his fight over and get a win and maybe, you know, get himself you know, increase his status and get himself out there. Instead he wanna go for stand out. Yeah. Oh, he does have a lot of powers on his hands. Uh, oh, but, uh, that's dude, funny. you, you want to train, go go enroll yourself in some kind of boot camp, some boxing, some kid one kid. Don't take UFC arena as a training ground. Alright, come on. You come in there, you going for a win. You're not going for, oh, not train my stand out since my stand out is okay. Who does that? Well, you want to train everything. But I I see I I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Uh -huh. uh. Well, I say it's my copy gonna take you out, gonna kick you out, uh. gonna kill you, gonna submit you. I don't care what he does. He gonna beat you out. Well, submission, maybe, but I kill you for sure. Uh. We'll see, man. Come on, Shalorus, man. He's a tough customer. Uh, he does have a really good chin on him. Um. Uh, I, I wish he didn't always prefer to stand. I, ho I can only hope he uses more wrestling here. Um, but Shell Roos is a guy I, I got to cheer for, man. I have to say, your, your prince, if he go for wrestling, this game's over. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to choose copy. But if he's going to go for stand out, man, with his, uh, his fighting IQ, this thing's not, doesn't look good for him. Doesn't look good for him. Okay, nice right after that. Then we have a uh, UFC newcomer Reza Madadi versus uh, detractor Rafaelo Oliveira. Oh, Madadi, all the way. You know what, man? I, I, I think that, you know, Madadi's a, he's a UFC newcomer. Yeah. Oliveira's oh. uh, fought some tough guys. He's a pretty well rounded guy. I'm going to go with uh, Oliveira. What? 
But that is, the the guy is a Swiss, uh, Swedish uh, prospect. I mean, he is he is his record is really good. Eleven, you know, win two loss, one KO, six submissions. So we know he's a good submission guy. Thirty one, thirty one years old. I mean, it's not bad, you know. Three win three, you know. I mean, he he find a fighter with a uh, pretty decent fighter. He, you know, the the show I just did, we just did not long ago. Like, the Carl, uh, you know, Carl Prater. Prater. I mean, he beat Carl Prater, and I say Carl Prater is pretty strong. So I, I, I just saying, uh, you know, you gotta watch out for this guy. You know, he's actually he's really good. His record's really. He's fought some tough competition. Rich Clemente is another guy he beat. Also beat up Jeannie Browning, and which is you know I should probably pick him just because he beat up he beat Jeannie Browning. <laughs> But uh, Olivia, you know, yeah, you know, he's on two fight losing streak. It's pretty solid. His stand up's not bad. His ground game's actually uh, pretty good. Trains out a good good camp with like Jim Miller, Dan Miller, and AMA. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, I'll I, go with Olivia. I don't know, man. My daddy, he, his record looks great. You know, he's doing good. Unless I, unless he has, he has a conditional problem, I, I think he's going to win this fight, man. We'll see, man. We'll see. Well, uh, next right after that, we have uh, Charlie Bre- the Spaniard Brenneman versus Daniel Ninja Roberts. No, Ninja Roberts going to disappear, and uh, all of a sudden you will see his blood, and he will win this fight. Uh, Daniel Roberts' blood, right? Huh? Oh, I'm picking Brenneman, man. What? Brenneman, Why am I going to kill you, man? I think that Brenneman can get the takedown, and I think he can... I I think that he'll be able to do enough uh, to avoid the submission attempts from Daniel Roberts. Do I tell you, man, he is a ninja. You you don't know where he is. You don't know what he's doing. He finished all the fight with submission, dude. Mm-hmm. He has no TKO KO win, uh, victory because yeah, he doesn't need to. <laughs> he's just going to freaking submit you, man. I know, I know. He has a weak stand out, but it's because his focus is on the BJJ, so I know for sure he's not gonna go stupid enough to stay out with you. He's gonna go try to take you down with his good wrestling and then choke you out. Uh-huh. You know, that's what my ninja gonna do. Well, we'll see, man. Well, I, I found it really interesting. I, I just noticed it now. Charlie Brenneman, j- just like Jim Miller and Rafael Oliveira, are all, uh, they all fight out of AMA. So this is definitely going to be a night for AMA here. We'll, we'll see how well they do. Daniel Ninja Roberts, so he does train with the Caesar Gracie guys. Yes. Um, you know, with the Diaz brothers, Jake Shields and whatnot, and Melendez. Um, and I always liked the Ninja. I, I've always liked him. I thought his, uh, he, he has some really cool submissions. I've seen him do some cool Camaras. That, that really nice choke of Mike Guyman. I can't pick him here, man. His stand-up's not, you know, I, I think that Brenman is just a better wrestler I think they probably cancel each other off and stand up. Both their stand ups aren't that good. <laughs> They're both just okay at best. And I think Brunman can avoid the submission defense. Maybe even get some ground and pound in there. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yeah. And finally, we got the Ninja of Love uh, Nick Dennis versus Joseph Sandoval. Talk about. Talk about. Overachiever here, man. Nick, my God, he finished everything with, uh, he, he just finished you all. <laughs> oh, man, uh, yeah, nine wins by KO or TKO and one win by sub. Uh, you know, but he, <coughs> you know, he has a 10 and 2 record, so he, this guy's a finisher. I mean, he, that, that's the Dude, thing. he, he slammed you down. He, 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 he knocked you out. You <laughs> net it. Yeah, man. No, in his last fight, he, he beat uh, Bellator veteran Nick Mamalis by a slam. <laughs> um, so who does that know, UFC, so. man? Yeah. Not many. Not many. I've seen it, but it, it's it's not too common. Yeah. Oh, I just say, man, this ninja is freaking dangerous. No, he, he's good. He, he, he's only 28. He's prospect to look out for. Uh, Sandoval, you know, my thing with Sandoval is, like, he only has seven fights. He, he you know, um, he lost his last fight to Walal Watson, to Gazelle. He's too green. Yeah, he's just, he's kind of green, you know what I mean? 
I, I think he, he he's not careful, he's going to get knocked out. Cool. I agree, man. Yep. So, that's it for our UFC on FX1, Gillard versus Miller predictions. If you have any comments, just leave them below. Yep. You got anything to say, my man? Again, subscribe us, please. Subscribe us. You know, give us a comment. You know, let us know what you think with our pick. You know, I mean, if you think it's Chris suck, just say Chris suck. You know, say that. No, no, don't say that. Okay. Don't, yeah. don't, don't say that. I just yeah. joking. Yeah. Just say, just David's pick is better. Yeah. You know, my <laughs> pick is always try, better. Try not to attack the guys and, and you know critique the critique the information, okay. not not the people. Exactly. Just uh. I mean, you know, be be honest. We all here try to give the best prediction we have. You know, it's all knowledgeable. You know, prediction. I mean, no personal attack. We we all here have fun. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it then for uh, MMA for you. Thank you very much.